Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a fresh episode of This Is Stanley. Yes, our FIFA 17 series. Things have been going very, very well up to this point. I'm a happy little bunny. We're going to jump straight in. We're going to play some more games. Run the intro. Milk! Ugh! It's one of them lush drinks. Ian Rush? Yeah, and he said if I didn't drink lots of milk, when I grow up, I'm going to be good enough to play for Accent and Stanley. Accent and Stanley? Who are they? Exactly. Oh, do fuck off, you little milky bar kid. So, guys, here we go. This is the calendar. We're going to finish February off in today's episode. We're going to start the game against Yeovil. Then we're going to play Stevenage. Then we're going to play, I believe that's Barnet. And then we're going to finish with Grimsby Town. Lovely little fucking episode. I'm looking forward to it. You've probably all noticed as well, the setup has changed a little bit. I'm face on. Screen's there now. Might be a bit better for this series. But I'm waffling. Chatting shit. Doing you stuff you don't even need to know. Let's come with it. So here we go, guys. First game in the league today against Yeovil. I'm looking forward to this one. Need more points. Need to stay top of the league, don't we? As I was saying about the league a minute ago, you'll see we're top. Yeovil down in 19th position, not having a good season. They're the teams that seem to fucking beat us though for some reason. And this is the Yeovil starting 11, my friends. It's a good team, they've got some good players in there. But they are languishing low in the league. They're going with a 4-3-3, dangerous. And this right here is the Akron starting 11. You'll see there's been a lot of changes to what is a you know, strongest squad. Sticking with the same formation, but you'll see Lacey, Brown, Leco, Etienne, Lookman all coming into the squad for today's game. So here we go. We get it kicked off. We just need another three points. That'd be lovely jubbly. Stay top of the league. That's all we want. Brownie boy. On the ball now. Come on inside. That's nice. Into Lacey. His first touch was a bit heavy. Is that Watkins making the run? It is. He's going to play. Lookman shoots. Oh, it's a save by the goalkeeper. Good play from the off from the boys, though. Watkins plays Brown. Oh, Lacey, sorry. Lacey is involved a lot in the game. It's a good pass inside. Watkins now. Pearson, where can he go with it? It's a shot. It's nothing. But the keeper has flapped. Leco, what can you do? And there we have it guys, that's half time. I'm a bit disappointed actually. Yeovil been quite hard to break down and we've not been very good. What a load of old shit is what I'm going to say about it. We need to get out in the second half and go and win this one. Substitution before the second half kicks off though, gang. Uh, Otis Khan coming on for Alex Lawless for Yeovil. Yeovil gets kicked off. Got to be better in this second half. You know, we were, we were decent enough going forward. Just not enough bodies in the box and not enough shots. Etienne been released. And he's going to try and release Leko, who gets the ball in. Oh, and that's unlucky from Lookman. But Brown has kept this alive. He's come out to Watkins. What can he do with it? That's nice from Watkins. Oh, he shoots. And it's a save by the goalkeeper. What a beautiful play, though. Beautiful, beautiful play. All right, a couple of substitutions now for Accrington. Luke Wall, Shane McCartan on for Lookman and Etienne. Um, good games, but need fresh legs. Not going our way in this game. Some substitutions now. Alex Lacey on for Josh Ezzawelli for Yeovil. Which, for fuck's sake, come on, score a goal. Oh my days. Yeovil coming forward now. Not fucking now. Don't do this to me. Come on, that's nice. Oh, as if that challenge ain't gonna stick. Nil nil. My God, fucking so shit in that game. So, so bad. And we can't afford to be dropping points against teams like Yeovil at the end of the day. I'm fucking annoyed with that game. And some more bad news. It really just fires on how bad that last game was for us. Three weeks, Joshua Manuel, he's done. Sprained knee, injury. And really don't need that at this point in the season. He's one of our best players. Let's just hope that Donacian can step up at right back and do a good job in the absence of Joshua Emmanuel. Second game of today's episode, Accrington at home to Stevenage. And after that disappointing draw last time out, we really need to go and get a win against these boys. And this is the team we're going with in this game. Um, you'll see it's heavily rotated. We've got you know a few games coming up. So 
I have changed the team quite heavily, but I think we're good enough to go and beat these guys with this team. And this is the 11 that Stevenage are going with. A good team, they've been going quite well in the league this season. They're gonna go over 4-4-2. It's the formation I most hate. And here we go, Stevenage gets kicked off, and a win is what we want from this game. One nil. I, I was just so into playing that I forgot I, I was recording. I forgot I needed to tell you what was going down. But you see it here. It's a nice pass. Another good pass. Elbizetti with a quick shot. Pass the goalkeeper. It's one nil. At Quinton, they cruise in. That's nice. That's a good, good challenge. Go wide. That's it. Into Campbell, who is flying up that wing. Just needs a good ball in the box. He gets one. Oh, and Clark, what is that shot? That is awful from Clark. That's a good challenge. Hoskins into Clark. Can he make up for that earlier mistake? Yes, he can, because his shot rebounds into the feet of Hewitt, and we are 2-0 up. What a beautiful, beautiful piece of play. A nice ball from Hoskins. The shot is a little weak, but a tap in for Hewitt. We'll take it. Beautiful stuff and Aqua and a flying now. Do it. In two. Elbazeddy. Into Clark. Comes back. This is nice. We're just holding on to the ball now. This is good. Into Campbell. This is nice. Watkins. Oh, over the bar. Get there. That's nice from Smith. Wins the challenge. Hoskins. Let's it roll off his body. This is nice. Elbazeddy. And there we have it guys, that's half time. We go in 2-0 up. Beautiful, beautiful display from the boys to this point. We are playing very, very well. Couldn't be happier. As you can tell by the little smile on my face. So I get the second half kicked off. Clark trips up over his own feet. He must have fucking clan shoes on. But we are 2-0 up, so happy days. And as I'm saying all this, some beautiful build up play. Oh my days, Donassian, that's a corner. Lovely, beautiful play from the lads. That's nice, this is nice. Play him, shoot. Oh, and it's just wide. What a beautiful passing move from Akron and Stanley. We really are playing some lovely stuff in this match and it's just wide. Right, some substitutions now. Uh, Lorenzo Tassi coming on for Charlie Lee. Uh, for Stevenage and the Aqua and Stanley substitutions Jonathan Lecco and Emerson Hyman on for Elbizetti and Campbell just trying to save the legs really both had really good games we have been dominant in this game been like something out of a sex dungeon ruined them nice from Watkins nice very nice from Watkins Hyman now oh that's lovely from you oh the ball over the bar Hyman's got some lovely silky feet. He could be on Strictly, I'm telling you. Do, 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 do. Substitutions here for Stevenage. LeBird coming on for Matt Gooden. Nice, nice. Can we score? Leco. Oh, he's hit the bar. How? How have you hit the bar there? Hyman. Oh, say. It's a good win again. And can Hoskins put him in? He can. Hyman, just with... Oh, ah. oh lovely from Watkins. Hewitt. Oh, what a shot. And Jones has to push it around the post. And again, I come forward. Oh, that's nice. Hyman, uh, sorry, Hoskins. He's just got to find someone, surely. Oh my God, how have I not scored? I've had so many chances. Come on. Header, Watkins, oh, it's cleared off the line. And Hewitt now. Oh, that has managed to fall into the pot of the clock. And it's 3-0. To be honest with you, I hit the shot button by accident. I wanted to pass it. You see it here. What a weak shot. It's deflected off the defender. And we have squeezed it in at the near post. That is beautiful. 3-0. That's a good outlet ball, that. Steven is right at the end, having a little attack. What's the worst that can happen, I suppose? Just need to head this out, Donassi, and you do that. That's beautiful. And that's the end of the game. We win this one 3 0. What a beautiful result. We were quality in this match. I just don't see why we couldn't have done that against Yeovil as well. Very strange. 
We'll take it though, three points we march on. It's time for the third game of today's episode, Barnet versus Accrington. We're away from home in this fixture. This is the Barnet starting 11. A decent team are Barnet. Been doing all right to this point. Akpa Akpro is a good player. He's rapid up front. Campbell Rice is pretty rapid as well. It's a decent team. This is the Akron starting uh, and Stanley starting eleven. Gotta get my words right. You'll see Etienne Jr., Leko, Lookman, Hyman, Harry, all in the squad for today's game. Had to rotate heavily once again. The games are coming thick and fast. So we get it underway. Hopefully another win like last time because what a beautiful result that 3-0 was. We played majestically. Right, Lookman into Leko. Where's he gonna go? Back to Lookman. He wants to find, he does, Hyman, dancing through again, dancing through again. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper that is. Ball coming in, get up, oh, it's off the bar. That's nice from Smith. Inside to Hyman, where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? He's got, he is quality, Hyman is quality. Leko, it was a bad touch, but he's still got it. Still, oh, and he skies it over the bar. That's good from Etienne though. Wins it back. Inside to Leko. He's gonna let rip. Oh, what a goal! He set it up with a touch. He let rip, he put his laces through it and we are one nil up. Danassian stayed forward. A lovely pass inside. Whoa, look at that. Whoop! Camera couldn't even keep up. Smashes the shot. Keeper can't do anything about it. One nil. nice brown shoes oh it's just wide what a cannon of a right foot fuck me they're breaking on us now Campbell Rice using his pace just stand him up that's great play great play my defending really has improved these last few games and that's a dirty challenge red card him send him off beat him up do something referee yellow card you bold him what a mug what a mug and that's it half time 1-0 up, dominating again. Get the whip out. <laughs> right, substitution here. Shea McCartan is coming on for Adamola Lukman. He's had a decent enough game, but he just drops deep far too much for me. I'd like a striker to stay up there a little bit more. Now, Brown. He's going to go out wide to Etienne. He knows he's got pace. He's going to cut back. That's good play from him. Oh, that's a lovely ball into Hyman. Where can he go with this? Oh, what a shot. And it's saved by the goalkeeper. Itchy nose. Ah. Substitution here for uh, Barnett and Gala are uh, uh, coming on for Dembele. Uh, it's a substitution. Matty Pearson's coming on for Danassian, who has worked his socks off. He was just he's all out of puff. Need to keep him fit because obviously we don't have a backup right back at the minute. That's a nice run. That's a nice run from Hyman. Can we sort it past him? No, we can't. That's actually a good pass there from the Barnet player. That's a good header out from Pearson. No. Oh my God, I thought Barnet were gonna go and nick an equaliser then. Good play. Oh, what the fuck? How has the Barnet player managed to keep that? Doesn't matter though, Matt Pearson with a crunch of a challenge. McCartan's away. McCartan is away, he's been fouled. But he's he's going to get a ball in. And it's going to be Hyman. It's going to be 2 0. That was lovely. That really was lovely play from Shane McCartan. He read the line, gets in behind. He was fouled, but he kept going. And a lovely ball sets up the second goal. A looped header over the keeper. That's, that's just the thing of beauty, that. What a header. 2 0. And that's it. We win 2-0, another three points, another, excuse me, completely dominant victory from us. Happy days, we roll on. And uh, this game, guys, yes, I was too busy looking at the dogs. They were making really weird noise. But it's Grimsby versus Accrington. We're gonna do this. And this is the Grimsby Town starting 11. A good team. 
They're going with a 442. Oh, they've got Loftus Cheek on loan. Cheeky fuckers, what a player. And this is the team that we're going with in today's game. Heavily rotated again, you'll notice. Literally, there's three days rest between each game and the team's just blowing, but hoping this team can do well in the game. We get it underway. We've had a good time of it to this point. Another win would be lovely stuff, and that is what I'm aiming for. Watkins with a challenge. Someone just fucking get the ball when he makes a challenge like that. No, 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 we've been unlocked. That's lovely. Hoskins, set him away. Set him away. Come on. Come on, Campbell. Just score. Just score. Oh, my God. Ninja cunt. We have been awful in this first half. It's nil-nil at half-time. I'm not happy with the performance. Our passing is all over the place. So bad. And we really need to carry on winning. Just what a shit show. Grimsby get this second half underway. We got a win. That was nearly a good challenge though. Wow, fucking Grimsby man. How are you passing it around like this? Oh my God, Just fucking pass the ball to your teammate would be nice. What a fucking joke. All over the place. I pissed it to pass forward and it went sideways. Unbelievable. And Grimsby go and grab a fucking deserved lead, it has to be said. A good finish as well. But look, this is a joke. Where's the tackles? Unbelievable. Oh my God, that nearly went in. Oh my God. It was the worst shot I've ever had in my life and it nearly looped in. He's actually clipped the bar. Oh my God. How, it, 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 oh my God. That is annoying, that one. All he did was touch the ball and it managed to fucking skip up like that. Honestly, this game is so against you at times. You go on a decent run and that's it. No, you can't do it, fuck off. Fuck off, you cunt. All right, Elvis Eddie, come on now. That's nice. Clark's in. Clark's in. Oh my god, the first touch was so bad. It, it, it's against me. It is against me. There we go. Sweaty. I don't care. I don't care. We just needed to get back in this game. And we have done. It's 1-1. One, one. It's a shit goal. But, oh... I was about to blow a blood vessel. The amount of scripted bullshit in this match and the amount that it has been against me is a joke, but we've got a bit of luck there. 1-1, one, one. we'll take it. Can we win the ball? That would be nice. Don't go and concede. Oh my days. Cannot win the ball in this match. Like, all of a sudden, my defensive, my defensive abilities have fucking gone AWOL as well. That is an awful shot. 1-1. One, one. What a shit match. Oh my God, that was making me angry, that one. And it's two points dropped at the end of the day. Fuck FIFA in the arse sometimes, fucking hell. So before we leave today's episode, a quick look at the league table and you will see that we've relinquished first place because of the utter bullshit match that was the Grimpy Town match. It was so scripted. I can't even begin to tell you how frustrating it was at times actually playing that match. I could have fucking smashed my Xbox up. It was doing my head in. But we are still second in the league and we're like 11 points clear of third uh, and fourth. So it's really, really starting to push on really strong, um, you know, sort of end to the season. I, at, the, at the minute, with the way things are, with the way that the league's balanced, I want to go and win it. I want to win this uh, league. This season, if I don't win it, I'm going to be really disappointed because we've been playing well. But you'll see it. 19 wins, 10 draws, 5 losses. Best defence in the league. 67 points on the board. Lane Orient are back on top. They're just a bit more of a consistent team than us. And uh, they're just doing a better job. But I'm still happy with how things are going. Hopefully next episode, 
we will take top spot back. There we have it. That's the end of another episode of This Is Stanley. It was a pretty good episode. Two wins, two draws. The last game just really started to piss me off. It was utter FIFA bullshit. I'm sure anyone that plays it knows what I'm on about. But like I say, a relatively good episode. Second in the league and I will take it. Now guys, if you've enjoyed today's episode, be sure to be showing me some appreciation and dropping a like on this video. If you're brand new and you like what you see, make sure you're touching the little red button that says subscribe. It's much appreciated. Uh, but until next time, you beautiful people, I've been Dan, you've been absolute legends. This has been FIFA 17, this is Stanley. Peace out my homies, I'll see you next time.